Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. to be a special people unto himself. God said he chose the Israelites to be a special people unto himself. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. He said you're above all other nations that are upon the face of the earth. Meaning God created everybody. He created everybody. Like, Get uh, like, um, like, like Isaac too? Six and like Isaac, right? Because he created everybody. We all come from who? God. Everybody come from who? You said you read the Bible, you believe the Bible. Everybody come from who? Who's the first father of civilization? Of, of the earth? God, Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve, come on. Adam, right? Adam, right? So let's see what God has to say. Come on. It's the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 6 and verse 54. Bring it up. After these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. I mean, we all, everybody comes from Adam. Come on. And the people also who now have chosen. And the people who God chose. Who did God choose? Who did God choose? Who? He chose who? He chose, he chose Israel, the 12 tribes. That's right. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. God made this whole world for the Israelites. Come on. As for the other people. As for the other nations. Come on. Which also come from Adam. They come from Adam too. Thou hast said that they are nothing. They are what? They are nothing. They are what? They are nothing. Come on. But be like unto spittle. But they be like unto spittle. So if you spit right there on the ground and you try to catch it and get it back in your mouth, you don't give a damn about that spit, right? Read that part again. But to be like what? But be like unto spittle. So God said the other nation is nothing to him. Come on. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop. That falleth from a vessel. He said he like all the other nations put together as a drop that falleth from a vessel. You get ready to go wash your car, you got a bucket of water, and some of it splash out. Do you care about that water? No. Come on. And now, O oh Lord, behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing. So he said, all these people, God, that you said are nothing, that's like spittle, come on, have begun to be lords over us. It's not your people lords over us right now today. It's not the white man, the Lord over this earth. Here, God is not walking across the street. Though. They don't right. even know. No, somewhere else. All right, cool. Oh, yeah, Read that part sure, again. Yeah. And now, O oh Lord, behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to, and to devour us. Can we agree that the so-called white man rules over us, rules the world? No. Can no, we agree on that? No such thing. That Can we agree shit? on that? We ain't talking it about don't colors. say nothing about, about no nation. colors in there. We're reading the book. God it's not in there. It's not saying nothing about colors. Give us all the in one and five. Bring it up. Hold up. Wait, wait. Let's say we're so called. I know what you're we're, saying. We're intermediate. We're, 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 we're up a level. We're getting up there. You said the Bible don't say nothing about colors. Watch this. The book of Solomon. Show us out. Chapter 1 and verse 5. Bring it up. I am glad. This is King Solomon. The wisest man that walked the earth outside of Christ. He said, What? I am black. But what? But come with so like, I'm black and proud. I'm black and beautiful. You got that from the Bible. That's right. You just didn't know it was there. Right. King Solomon said he's white. He's I am black. He's black. I'm black. I'm black. King Solomon said he is a black man. That's it's right. It's black comedy, but beautiful. It's beautiful. It's but it's handsome. It's come on. Oh, ye daughters of Jerusalem. And the tents of the dog. If you look at the dark men, dark men. King Solomon did a lot of stuff. We are not dark and beautiful. That's why the kingdom was broken. Right. Everybody been nobody back then. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Again. I tell you that, nobody back then was white. There's no Matter of fact, give me Isaiah 1 and 3. Are you ready? Yeah, I was ready. You ready, bro? 
Yeah, they ready now, baby. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, and verse 3. Bring it out. Hear what God has to say to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. The us, no, it's his own. And the ass is master's spirit. So God is comparing you to a stubborn-ass donkey and a dumb-ass ox. Come on. But Israel does not know. My people do not consider. God said you don't even consider that you're his chosen people. Right. You let somebody tell you that Christ looks like this, and you read in the book he that he's a black man. Right. right. That had feet that look like fine branches that been burned in a furnace. Right. But yet you still believe this. Bring it out. You got to know you've been lied to when you hear that. Read that from the top again. God is saying you're stupid. Come on. The ox knows his owner, and the ass is master's grid. But that Israel does not know. My people does not consider. You don't even consider that you're the people of this book. You don't even consider. You don't even give us a chance to read this book to you as it is written. Thus saith the Lord. Come on. Right. I mean, uh, sinful I mean, nation. I mean, he said you're a sinful nation. You like to rob. You like to steal. You like to whore out your sisters. You like to do those things. Come on. A people laden with iniquity. Laden with iniquity. You like to roll your blunt smoke them all day. You like to do those type of things. Right. Yeah, you do. You like to get drunk early in the morning. Bring it out. The Bible said don't do that. The Bible said don't be a drunk. You're not getting the kingdom with that. Right. But we're out here to tell our people to change, to repent, to come back to the most high God. That's right. You want the kingdom, brother? You want the kingdom? You want to live forever? How do you do it? I get it, you listen, but I want to talk to my brother. Because I love my brother, so I'm just asking him a question, that's all. Not, not, not picking, not trying to be a smart mouth, just asking a question. How do you get the kingdom? Who knows how do we get to the kingdom of God? By claiming Jesus Christ as your Savior. This man said, by claiming Jesus Christ as your Savior. He's partly right. What else? Hey, bro, how we get? How do you get the kingdom of God? I know you know. I've seen your picture. How we get the kingdom of God? How do you get the man forever? Obey the commandments. commandments. It's that simple. Read that, 19 to 16, man. It's the book of Matthew. Chapter 19 and verse 16. Bring it out. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So a young man came to Christ and said, Christ, how do I get the kingdom of God? How do I get to live forever? Come on. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, you want to enter life? You want to get the kingdom? That's why he died for us. Keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. The Bible says you must keep God's commandments to get the kingdom. All right? We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth